This is Twit. Janice in Tehachapi, California. You're next. Hi, Janice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nicole. Yes, you're very welcome. Thanks for calling. I'm a fifth grade teacher up here in Tehachapi. Right now I'm just sitting here listening to you as I do my lesson plans. First, let me bow down to you. I know how hard it is. It's a, a true calling, but boy, we need, the teachers are the most important people in the world, I think. You're molding well, the future. But, thank you for your work. Well, thank you very much. Uh, if I probably listen to you more closely as I did my lesson plans, I wouldn't have to ask you this question, but I do have one. Glad uh, to help. Glad to help. Right now, you know, we are on a Windows-based system, and that's where we plan to stay. But last year, I bought a a Mac Air, and I do use it in my classroom. But my question is, I guess, is my old computer that we use is just getting too old and too slow. Yeah. This is, this, okay, this in a nutshell is why I love teachers, because you spent your own money to bring, yes, in, to bring in more modern equipment because the school district doesn't have the money to replace the old stuff. Right. Well, hopefully they might, but then they might not next year. So right. you know, it's one of those things you just don't know about. And I'm impatient, I guess. Um, well, and you want to give the kids the best experience, and I really honor you for that. That's great. Thank you. Well, well, thank you. Well, my question is, should I be able to take my Mac Air? I bought it in November of 2013. And should I kind of be able to turn it into a Windows machine? You like can. You, you bet you can. You'll need a copy of Windows, that, a licensed copy of Windows that you can use. Uh, that's the sticking point. It's not free. Uh, they, you know, they don't just give out copies of Windows. Uh, although the district may have a license you can use since they already have Windows machines. And then you'll need, there's two ways to do this. Macintoshes actually make excellent Windows machines. Ever since Apple shifted to Intel processors, they are Windows machines. They just run Macintosh instead of Windows. Okay. Uh, so uh, Apple has a, to, a way to do this uh, that works quite well, but it does require disk space. Uh, there's a little program uh, called uh, Boot Camp on your Macintosh. And you would run that program, Boot Camp, and it would say, okay, great. First of all, let's make sure you have a Windows installer. And you can either be on a... Now, you don't have a CD-ROM on that, so you'll have to get an external CD drive or you could put it on a USB key, put it in there and say, yes, I see you have Windows. Great. Now I'm going to download the drivers because it has different drivers because it's different hardware, right? But every mm -hmm. computer has its own Windows drivers that are specific to that hardware. Apple makes those Windows drivers available. You download them. And then it's going to say, okay, now I'm going to take your disk and divide it up because we have to make room for Windows. How much room do you want? And you're going to need 10 or 20 gigabytes, probably 20 for Windows, so you have to have enough space on your internal hard drive that you can do this. Okay, well, I haven't put a lot on. Yeah, you probably have room. A lot on there yet. So Twenty is plenty. Okay, twenty is okay. plenty. And uh, at that point, you when you start the machine, you have the choice. It, it, you hold the Option key down when you start it, and says, "Would you like to run Macintosh or Windows today?" If you choose Windows, it runs just like the Windows machines, except it's up to date. Microsoft will give you a $12 version of Windows 7 from TechSoup.org, I believe, because you're an educator. Mm -hmm. So tep, go visit TechSoup.org and find okay. out about that. Windows 7, I believe, is still supported by Boot Camp. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat room. Um, and it's probably the one you want because you're probably using XP on those old machines in your school, in your class. Right, but it has to be pro. Yeah. Well, see if I'm pretty sure they'll give you pro. If not, Microsoft okay. also has educational discounts. They want teachers. That's true. Yeah, that's they want true. teachers. And my to have son this. is in college, so I you'll be able I'll to get it. back off him. Yeah. Yes, seven's okay. probably the one you want. It'll be most familiar to you. It'll be like XP. Now, once you've done that, you could also run it in. There's two ways to do Windows. The, that's the boot camp method, the approved Apple way. But there's another way that's perfectly fine. In fact, works hand in hand with boot camp, and that's using it in virtualization. That lets you continue to run Macintosh. But every once in a while, open a window that has Windows in it. And oh, that, okay. that's very convenient if you don't want to exit the Macintosh uh, operating system, but you want to run a Windows program. You can even run that window program in something they call coherence mode that makes it look like it's a Macintosh program. It's just, it's running <laughs> like in a window. Okay. 
And what was the name of that again? Um, well, there's three ways to do this. There's the free one, which is called Virtual Box. That's from Oracle, virtualbox.org. Mm -hmm. But if you, but I don't know how well Virtual Box works with Boot Camp. If you want to, the nice thing about there's two two commercial products, Parallels, Parallels, and VMware Fusion. And those will say, oh, I see you already have Windows installed, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to let you manage that partition. But I will continue to run Windows applications anytime you want without exiting Macintosh. Mm -hmm. so, so the three choices are VirtualBox, that's free, Parallels, and VMware Fusion. They're, VMware Fusion and Parallels are very similar. I currently prefer VMware Fusion. But it's a very they're minor differences. They go back and forth. Sometimes Parallels is better. Sometimes Fusion is better. Either one would be fine. And they're under $100.